I think that it's an issue that we are all worried about because of the specific circumstances of South Africa and it's most regrettable and most unfortunate. I think that the young people of South Africa do not know what happened before they gained their freedom. The whole of this continent stood behind South Africa. The whole of Africa stood behind South Africa to fight against apartheid. I remember all of us growing up as secondary school children, you know, went on marches, we were part of the African Youth Command, we demonstrated, we boycotted classes and all that, all in the fight against uh, apartheid. Indeed, for several of the countries where the, their, their citizens have been brutalized in South Africa, these are countries that were called frontline states that harbored the freedom fighters you know, of South Africa and gave them safe haven, gave them passports, you know, to be able to avoid the clutches of the apartheid regime. And even um, Nigeria. Nigeria, even though not a neighbor of South Africa, was considered a frontline state because of the economic contribution that Nigeria did to the ANC to be able to uh, liberate South Africa from apartheid. And so it is regrettable that the same people who fought against apartheid you know, are being attacked in this way. The pictures we've seen are very horrible. As ECOWAS, we've issued a statement condemning um, uh, what is happening. The unfortunate thing is this is not the first time. It keeps flaring up. And so while we are condemning this incident, we must work with the South African government to ensure that this doesn't happen again.